Hey there friends, thanks for checking in with CMMG out in Boonville, Missouri. Today we're looking at the Mark 47 Descent. Very nice rifle. This has been shown in the media, basic pictures and so forth, but it is just launching. It offers a lot and I have Peter here who was in on the design team. He's an engineer. He's going to talk about it, give us all the internal specs and everything else. And then, of course, I'm going to roll through some shooting footage. Check out this new rifle from CMMG. Peter, thanks for joining me. You were in on this. Let's talk about some of the specifics that a buyer would be interested in. The key customer for this is interested in 762 by 39. Yes. As you can see, it uses AK-47 magazines. It ships with P-Mags, um, but it works with steel AK mags also. The big thing to note about the Mark 47 versus other 762 by 39 ARs is this uses a 308 sized bolt. Other 762 by 39 ARs use a smaller bolt based on the 556 and they just remove material for the bigger round. So you get broken bolts, bolt broken extractors. This uses a 308 size so you have a lot more material, a lot more robust strength. If you're familiar with the original Mark 47, it uses a standard buffer tube. New is the descent model, which has our bufferless system. The recoil assembly is a contained wholly within the action, which gives you fun features like folding stock and a compact form factor. And one of the things we talked about is that the action, instead of using the full buffer tube, it's basically from here to here. So it's a much shorter action, but we were just shooting it. It was as if nothing was different. It was very smooth, very easy to shoot with a shorter buffer system. The shorter buffer system also gives you a forward charging handle here, which new for the Mark 47 Descent can be reversed from the left side to the right side with no tools. Another new feature for the Mark 47 Descent versus the original Mark 47 is a manual bolt catch. Well, you can't seat that on a closed bolt. So this allows you to lock the bolt open manually and then seat the magazine and then push the bolt catch like a normal AR and chamber around. It's also great for ranges that require you to lock it open and show open without a chamber flag. Well, and that's one thing I noticed. I can put it right on my hip, pull the bolt back, and just with one hand, with the bolt in my hand, also just lift that part up and lock the bolt back. That's really easy. All right, so this has what we've known as a rip stock or a rip brace. It's a CMMG thing. It's been around for years, but somehow you were able to make this happen with this descent. Why don't you go ahead and show us how that works. The keen-eyed observer may recognize this as a B&T stock. So B&T makes this particular version for us and we use it on the descents and not just the Mark 47 but on all of our descent rifles now. But it adjusts, it extends without pushing any buttons so you just got to pull on it and it's also got a adjustable cheek rest so if you're using taller optics like some EOTex or full-size scopes you can lift it up and make it comfortable. And so it also folds and will hold itself up by a spring detent, but then just snaps open for quick deploy action. And so how many how many adjustment settings are there? Seven or eight? Uh, well, I saw five, like but yeah. I want to say, yeah, I'm going to say there's seven or eight in there. Right. Different positions. Okay, so it's a nice stack. Well, tell me about the trigger, because that was really nice when shooting. So this is a trigger that we partnered with Rise Armament to make, and it is... It's got heavier springs in it so it can set off 760 by 39 reliably. Most custom triggers can't set off 760 by 39 reliably so we partner with Rise Armament to come up with this one. Okay and so one of the things if you guys know CMMG they do a ton of Cerakote work. They love it. I saw a nice one that was like a tungsten gray. This is flat dark earth. Can the user or the buyer choose their Cerakote color like they can with most of your other firearms? So we do offer this in a number of different Cerakote options, as well as some new camo patterns. We do exclusives for distributors. So it just depends. You may see a bunch of different stuff out there in the market because, like I said, we like to get creative with it. Yeah, and so we got the handguard here. Very interesting at the factory how they can take a, a piece of steel and just, or a piece of aluminum in this case, turn it into a beautiful handguard like this. Tell us about the brake. This is our zeroed brake, which you'll find on pretty much all of our 16-inch rifles. This, the Mark 47 Descent comes in not only a 16 inch, but also a pinned and welded 14.3 inch. So it has a 16 inch overall legal length, but it has a slightly different brake on it that is for something new coming out later next year. What feedback have you gotten so far with people seeing pictures or even people like myself out here on the range shooting it? What, what are they saying about this rifle? 
A lot of people are really excited because anyone who likes the ergonomics and optics capability of the AR platform but likes AK round and magazines says this really this addresses some of the perceived shortcomings of the original. So you have folding stock, which a lot of AKs have folding stocks or under folders. Mm -hmm. And then a bolt hold open is another feature that a lot of people have asked for over the years because they want to be able to lock it open and show clear, as well as strip a, a fully loaded mag. Okay, so here we have a, a gas tube that is mid-length. This is a mid-length gas system with an adjustable gas block. Okay. What else can you tell us? How about the MSRP? Do we have that yet? Uh, MSRP is going to be in the $2,000 range depending on whether, depending on Cerakote options, uh, stock, no stock, that sort of thing. Gotcha. Peter, when can people get their hands on this? You should be able to see these on dealer shelves in probably December. December? In December of 2023. Okay, so it's launched in November. December of 23 is when they could actually get their hands on this for CMMG fans. Maybe. <laughs> May want to check this one out as well as people who love 762 by 39. Yeah. Anything else? That's uh, I think that's most we of it. we covered the Mark 47 Descent. It's a beautiful rifle. Um, I enjoyed shooting it here at the range, which is pretty amazing, by the way. And it was I I wish I could say it was accurate. I never quite shot the paper. There were guys shooting around me, but I felt completely comfortable. Trigger pull, very nice. The overall function. Very nice, don't need a buffer tube to have soft shooting with 7.62 by 39. So I appreciate you being out here with us, Peter. Enjoyed it, hope you guys enjoyed this review. And if you get a chance, check out the Descent Mark 47. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.